Hello. Today we're going to look at count blank in Microsoft Excel and also count A. And I'm going to do something in advance. I'm going to take count blank and use it with conditional formatting. I'm Chris Menard. Thank you for joining me. I have a list of data. The header row is in row 1. The data stops in row 13. I went to cell E15 and I want to know how many blanks I have in column E. That is the count blank function and you can see from the definition it counts empty cells. So I'm going to select this range E2 to E13. I should end up with two and I do. The two empty ones are E6 and E12. I do want to point out something that's important. If I select cell E3 and I press the delete key on the keyboard, my count blank is now correct at 3. I'm going to undo that once. I have seen people do this. When you tell them to delete something, they press the space bar, enter, space bar, enter. The enter key is not delete, and therefore count blank is technically right. There are two empty cells. There are a bunch of cells that have a space bar in them which are not empty cells. So I'm going to undo. So just make sure when you delete something you press the delete key and not the space bar. Let's get advanced now with one of my favorite features in Excel, conditional formatting. I want to use conditional formatting to find out any rows that have a blank in them, highlight them in a background color. So conditional formatting starts off with highlighting your range. Notice I didn't pick up the header row. I started in A2. Conditional formatting. I'm going to have to go and write a rule. So new rules. I'm going to have to use a formula. Equals count blank. I'm looking for blanks. And here's where this, this sometimes throws people. When you do conditional formatting, you highlight your entire range first. I'm only looking dollar sign A2, because that's the first cell that I selected. And I want to freeze the column. So that's why the dollar sign is in front of the A. Through, here's the part that throws people, dollar sign G, not 13, G2. So there is your correct formula for conditional formatting with count blank. Because you selected all your data first, it's going to go row 2, 3, 4. So you don't want this to be G13. Go to Format. Yellow works. I don't care what fill color you pick. Click OK. Click OK. There are all the rows that have at least one blank in them. Let's test it. I'm going to get rid of David Bell and press the delete key. And there it goes. I'm going to undo. I'm going to leave the conditional formatting running. Another Excel function that I love is count A. Count A will count the number of cells that are not empty. You do that one more time. Count A. I have 10 cells that are not empty. I do want to point out one little item about count blank and count A. Count A will count empty text. In case you're wondering what in the world is empty text, double quotes twice is empty text. So as an example, I'm over here in column H and I want to know if anyone's purchases are over 1,000. And so I'm going to write an if statement. If G2 is greater than 1,000, comma, what do you want to do? I want to give them, I want to say yes. Comma, the value of false. What if G2 is not over 1,000? I want to put in a blank. There's your if statement. 
I got a blank. Let's put in 1001. It went to yes. I'm going to center that just so you can see it. So there's your if statement. But when I pull this down, so even though they look like blanks, there is a formula in here. So if I come down here and do count A, I got 12 because it looks like these cells are blank, but they're empty text because they have a formula in them. That's my point. Now if I start deleting them, I'm going to press the delete key, delete key, you can see the numbers going down. So I just want to, I did want to point that out about the count A, is that it does count empty text. Count A also counts, just so you know this, I'm going to take cell G5, which is a 950, divide by zero. That pound divided by is also part of count A. It includes error messages. Thank you for your time. One last formula. If you only want to know how many numbers you have, let's do this right over here in column K. 500, 400, my name, ABC, and 200. One more time. Count A. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's correct. If you only want to count numbers, it is the count function. I should end up with 3. There is count A, there is count, and we've done count blank. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel and have a wonderful week. Thank you.